Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, I'm feeling much better. My hand is feeling slowly much better. So I can uh, start getting back on track with uh, giving you guys some uh, guitar study videos. Today, however, I'd like to bring your attention to a creative exercise. The point of this creative exercise is for you to explore your fretboard more with different rhythm styles. And we're going to approach that through the perspective of changing the style of a song rhythmically. What you heard in the intro of this video was a guitar rendition of the main uh, verse melody from the song The Vampire of Time and Memory by Queens of the Stone Age. It's my all-time favorite uh, Queens of the Stone Age song. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend it. That is the uh, main melody we're going to be using to uh, change the style and see how you can explore a rhythm uh, different from there. Of course, before we get into all the different rhythm styles that we're going to try, you have to first know what are the uh, chords that we're playing. Take a look at the tabs uh, right here and just play along, get it down and continue with the video. So these are the chords. first type of style variation we're going to look into is a basic uh, rhythm change. Not a lot's going to be going on, but a simple added notes into the mix really changes kind of the pace of the song a little bit. The second type of uh, style change we're going to look into is a staccato rhythm change or a kind of a reggae type vibe change to the main melody. Uh, staccato meaning that the uh, note durations are far shorter in between. Uh, they actually don't last very long at all. Uh, short bursts of sound. We're also going to be muting the bass notes in this one. Let's take a look. <laughs> Now for the uh, staccato rhythm uh, change, you're going to want to mute the uh, lower notes, so all the bass notes basically, and all the higher notes that you're playing, you're going to play them once and then uh, put your palm down nice and quick. So. Next up we have kind of a more jazz rhythm change application to the song which is kind of uh, one of my fa favorite things to do as of late and I'm really enjoying uh, learning kind of these different types of jazz rhythms and the incorporation of the slap mute into the melody really gives it uh, kind of a nice percussion to it. Now 
for the more jazzy rhythm section, you're going to also want to be palm muting the bass notes and adding kind of a slap uh, mute into the mix. And that would be like this. So you're playing the uh, low bass note palm muted. So you're going to play bass note, play the high notes, and then slap down. And what you're going to do is you're going to add the slap the first time after playing the higher notes once and then playing it again once you play the higher notes twice. Take a look. One, two. So that was once the high notes. After the slap, you play the lower bass note, palm muted, and then you play the higher notes twice. Also kind of a, in a staccato uh, vibe. And that's how you apply that same pattern to the rest of the chords. Now lastly we have the bossa nova rhythm type change which is also kind of jazzy and it gives it this very mellow vibe, smooth vibe, like really nice elevator music if you will. So let's uh, yeah, take a listen. Alright, for the bossa nova uh, type rhythm change, I zoomed in to my right hand because that's where the magic is happening. So what you want to do is, you're going to play the uh, lower bass note along with the higher two notes in the chord. And then you're going to mute the higher notes by simply resting your two fingers back on the strings. So, and then play it again. Once you do that, you're going to play the bass note again, then back to the high note. Take a look. And then you're going to mute the whole chord by simply laying your fingers on this, those strings. And that type of uh, right hand magic you can apply throughout the rest of the chords to have that a simple bossa nova uh, rhythm change into the mix. All right, guys, so that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know if this was helpful. Uh, what did you think of the video? What do you think about applying uh, creative exercises as part of your daily uh, practice routine? And you know, if you enjoy the video, you can always hit the like button. If you want to stick around for more of this type of content, be sure to subscribe. And I will see you all again next time.